Hi, Adam Thompson here from Restore Native Plant Nursery. Today I'm standing in a paddock on our farm that we retired last year. And I just want to talk here about uh, low cost options of getting revegetation planting uh, established on your farm. We're in a paddock here which is about three hectares and we've planted in almost solely manuka. There is some kanuka in this. And we've also established some totara as a more emergent species for options in the future. So you can see here we've got manuka that went in 12 months ago. So that's about a metre and a half odd tall. When we planted this, we planted in a smaller revegetation grade than our normal um, native mix that we do. But as you can see, manuka it establishes well. This hasn't had a release spray, it never had a pre-spray. We just grazed this out hard and we've put manuka straight in here to get established. So you see the survivability as you look around, the plants are thriving and they've had basically no care. They've just been planted well and it's a really hardy tree and it's just an awesome way to establish into an area like this. By putting totara in with this mix, it gives you other long-term options. Being an emergent species, it's going to give you better access, hopefully with changes in terms of the ETS and what you're going to be able to claim um, for native revegetation. But it also adds a bit more biodiversity. There's going to be food there for birds in that totara. They're going to carry in then other seeds across this area as well. The other thing that totara gives is potentially a long-term milling option, rather than just planting these areas into pine trees. I'm on a bit of a mission. I don't want to see marginal land like this on dry stock farms going to pine trees. I think we've got an awesome solution here with natives that we can do for a relatively cheap price too.